Good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. Yes, it's me. I'm back. I've decided to get back in the game and uh, yeah, start narrating some old or well, some new Wi Fi battles. First one here is not exactly the most competitive match ever because it's Hoyle and I using our in game teams, but um, I'm going to try and get a competitive team bred and made so that the upcoming battles will be more. Um, you know, more up to the standard. So anyway, uh, yeah, I started off with my <laughs> two in the pink, which I nicknamed it that because of how pink Impidink is. And the, well, if you know the rhyme, then you know the rhyme. But yeah, so, um, started off with a fake out, obviously. He's gone for the uh, Venom Shock. Um, and I just went for the, that dark move that I used, just to see how much it would do. Uh, and I regretted taking off Sucker Punch because it would have came in really useful there, but uh, whatever. So then I just switched in my own, um, uh, what's it called, Toxtricity. Um, because I'm going to resist most of his moves and I know that the only other option he has is Boom Burst and that's not going to heal me. I went for the Discharge, expect it, well, just in case he went for a switch, I, I expected it to kill anyway. And it did, so there we go. Um, over predicting for the win. So yeah. He's ends in... Man, I'm really going to have to learn the names of these new Pokemon. Uh, Cinderace, right? Yeah. Which I literally only just realised it's based off a football player. Because usually the starters follow an archetype. But I had no idea what this one was supposed to be. I know we've got a drummer. Cinderace is a footballer and Inteleon, I guess, is a spy. Uh, for whatever archetype that is. But yeah. So I send in Big Willy the Gyarados. Um, I'm... Just went for a Dragon Dance here. I wasn't really intending of going for a sweep. Gyarados, by the way, being the MVP of my team because I got a Magikarp early on, and it was basically just the, Gyar the Gyarados show because it just did everything for me. All the other new Pokémon are pretty lame. I usually try to make an in-game team with all new Pokémon, but I really struggled to find six Pokemon that I liked. I, I mean, I, really, I even ditched my starter. I got rid of my starter because of how horrible they look. Um, like I said, uh, I, I picked Inteleon. I'm a Slobble gang. Slobble. And but even then, it's just I got rid of it because I just hate Inteleon's design. It just looks stupid. And I hate the anthropomorphic look that they have to give every single starter Pokemon now. It's horrible. They're not supposed to be human. But whatever. I digress. Um, switched out Gyarados. Just wanted to keep him for later on in the match. And I went into Best Boy. My Bolton. Um, I don't know why I didn't go for the Nuzzle there. I mean, I think I was expecting it to kill. But obviously that was a bad move on my part. But yeah. Um... And I think I think what it was is I I expected to still outspeed him even after the speed boost. That's what I um, assumed. I thought that even though even with the speed boost from the the max um, whirlwind or whatever it's called, that it still wouldn't be fast enough. But I was wrong. And luckily, uh, the fear attack missed there, so that kind of paid off. But well, I know that for next time. Uh. I do have another in-game team match coming up after this one, and then hopefully the rest following will be more competitive matches. Obviously I want to get back into that weather team uh, groove and try out all the new stuff. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I also learnt this match. Uh, So-called competitive player me, I, I found out this match that poison type moves aren't very effective against rock. I mean, I knew that ground resisted poison type, but I never knew rock resisted poison type I or maybe I did and I just completely forgot I mean I haven't played Pokemon now for so many years but I was just like what? Venishop isn't very effective? that's stupid because I don't know like there's no logic behind that I mean ground okay yeah I suppose it soaks up the poison but rock? whatever so yeah so I um, send in Big Willy now uh, I wasn't going to risk <laughs> the Dragon Dance, I just wanted to waterfall it and get it out of the way because like one rock move would have killed me and yeah it's um, looking pretty good for me now 
Um, Hoyle's got a lot of fire type Pokemon, and now that he hasn't got the um, Corviknight or the uh, Colossal to. Oh no, not even Colossal, it's just the Corviknight and the Toxtricity. Uh, I'm pretty much free to free to sweep now. So yeah, uh, I switch out to uh, Dragapult because I'm pretty sure that uh, Surfetch can't do anything to me. Uh, as you saw, Leaf Blade did nothing. So I took the opportunity to Dragon Dance. Like even if he did attack me, I was pretty sure I could um, one hit KO him with Dragon Dance next turn. Um, but he switched out anyway, so that's better for me. And I go for the Dragon Dance, and that's gonna one hit KO him. Easy kill. And that's pretty much it now, really. Um, Dragapult. Mm, very little they uh, Hoyle can do against him now. What we've having the Surfetch and the uh, Fire type Pokemon that it, that he's got left. Um, so yeah, it's just a case of spamming Dragon Darts, Dragon Darts, not Darts, Dragon Darts, and uh, wiping out the rest of his team. Um, so yeah. It took me quite a while to catch the Dragapult. That was a pain in the uh, pain in the ass to get, but I managed it in the end. I had to change my in-game settings and all that because it has to be. It only appears during a, a rainstorm. So yeah, that was annoying, but I got it in the end. So yeah, um, I didn't realise he had a Focus Sash on him. I wasn't expecting that at all, but not that it matters because uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish him off now with Gyarados. I've, I wanted to flex on Hall here, so I thought I'd uh, Dynamax the Gyarados in right, right in his face. Um, but yeah, that's it. He decided to not let me kill him myself, so he uh, killed himself with Double Edge. So yeah, uh, first match um, back in the game. Uh, we've got another in-game team match, like I said, against Nintendo Holic guy from the Discord. Um, and like I said before, we're gonna I'm gonna try and uh, get some more competitive matches in. I'm gonna need to start uh, breeding that man. Not having Pokus have is really uh, it's gonna be really tedious. Um, also decided to leave the in-game music on, even though it's like time two speed, just to see what it's like. If it's horrible, then the next video I'll just put some other background music in. Um, but yeah, I, I do I do like to have some kind of atmospheric music in. So anyway, um, yeah, enough of me enough of me rambling. I'll uh, see you all in the next uh, match. <laughs>